This is an island, and for the next seven days, I'll be surviving with no food, no water, and no shelter. Located off the coast of Florida, this sparsely vegetated island with seemingly no source of fresh water, surrounded by delicious, colorful looking fish, and prone to explosive storms, would test both my mental and physical breaking points. And each day, I'll spin this wheel and I'll get whatever it lands on as a blessing from the island gods. Ready? Nick, you're gonna be stuck on this island with me for the next seven days. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. And we both get to bring one item that'll give us a little bit more comfort. I decided to bring a six pack of toilet paper. And I decided to bring one nice eight foot by 10 foot tarp. Diarrhea coming soon near you without a doubt. We're in desperate need of shelter first, I'm thinking, water second, and food third. It's super hot out here. There's zero coverage, as you can see. And after discovering a horde of rusty metal apparatuses on the island, we decided to place Nick's tarp on one of the ones we found that was intact. And we soon had a beautiful makeshift shelter that we could sleep in. All right, we got the shelter figured out. Our best chance of survival with water is literally boiling the ocean water. We're gonna fill one of these suckers up, connect the two necks, boil one, and the newly fresh water will come into this via condensation. Super slow rate, so we're probably gonna be screwed. Not gonna lie, let's go. And just to confirm it is indeed salty, high probability that we died today. And while I worked on securing water, Nick began fishing for our food. His arms oh, on, God. Oh. His arms on the hook. All right, well, I'm gonna use him to hopefully catch a fish. Wish me luck. Oh, sh I caught a fish my first cast out there. Y'all just saw that. That's dinner right there. I'm hungry. No way! You just got a fish? Hold up! Hold up! I'm coming, I'm coming. Dude, that thing's beautiful. We can eat it. Oh, oh, oh. Caught a fish. Caught a fish, bro. Caught a fish! <laughs> we got dinner! This fish represents hope, folks. Nick, you've given us a pathway to an adventure that will transcend life and death itself. Yeah. And while Nick's good fortune landed us a fish first cast, Nick continued to scavenge for food, snagging a few monstrous conch shells out of the shore's surface while I slowly degenerated to lunacy. While I began searching for firewood of any kind on this barren, deserted wasteland of an island, I would soon tackle mankind's greatest discovery, fire, which would allow us to create clean drinking water and would provide essential warmth and protection from creatures at night. All right, you got this monster-sized palm tree right here, and if there's some coconuts on it, we'd have a nice, plentiful source of water. We just crack those suckers up with my Machete 101 skills and drink galore. This is literally the only palm tree on the island. There's no coconuts on it. We're kind of screwed right now. And while I was on the hunt for coconuts, I encountered two stray marine biologists. We're stranded here for seven days. Any advice? There ain't much on this little island, dude. We're gonna have to fight for our lives, I'm thinking. Those islands are good. We can actually find some fish on those islands. Okay. As I prepared my ocean water for the fire I would build that would boil it into fresh, sublime purity, I never thought it could be so difficult to build a fire. All right, one match out for the count. F my life. All right, we're out of matches, folks. This is a cause for concern. Plasma lighter's OP. It's definitely melting things, but it's not really starting a fire. I need some proper brush, and then I think we can get this thing combusting, baby. This is impossible. And we just couldn't start a fire. And consider the fact that we hadn't consumed any liquids or any food the entire day. Morale is reaching pitiful lows. I think we're gonna die. If we don't get any water within the next hour or so, we're legally effed, I'll tell you folks. And I'd finally sparked an ember of hope with my plasma lighter. Yet the island gods spat in our face, blowing massive gusts of wind in our direction, killing any hopes we had of keeping keeping a fire that would burn into the night and eliminating our only potential source of water. We're not having any luck with fire. That means no water. I have my glass bottle here. I'm gonna bank that this may in fact be some rainfall. I have no idea. If it is, we're in for a jackpot because we brought the life straws. Supposedly filtered through 99% of anything bacterial. So I'm gonna get a little dip of this. <laughs> What's it taste like? Salty. It's not fresh water. We definitely need to boil water. We are at the moment currently effed. 
We have not eaten a thing all day. Zero calories out here on the islands. Nick gathered like four conch shells and a fish today. All right, we got a conch. Homeboy's just chilling in the shell right now. And while I was on the verge of eating the conch, it turns out it's a big no-no in Florida. So we released all of our conch back into the ocean and slept on empty stomachs, man. We had no water, we had no food, and we had deplorable shelter. What are you looking at, punk? Huh? What are you looking at, punk? Hey, so you look like uh, I shook a meat if I get a little too hungry, boss. Might have to take a nice little chomp out of your arm there, buddy. <laughs> Why do you think you're here, bro? To catch your fish. I'm here to kill you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, Nick and I are doing okay. Tension rises here and there. The psychology at play is running strong. We definitely need to make a fire tomorrow. We look like a juicy, sloppy Joe at a sixth grade cafeteria to those mosquitoes out there right now. We're about to get devoured by the mosquito clan tonight. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. It might just rain tomorrow. And what rain means is that we might just be able to collect rainwater. If we get rainwater, we can slurp it up with a straw and we will survive, folks. I kid you not. There are some concerning insects out here uh, making lodge in our little shelter, and I'm quite concerned. Creature. Hey, don't flick it on me. <laughs> I think you're gonna get some good sleep tonight, Nick. With a crab sneaking up your anus at nighttime, my friend. This is without a doubt the most demoralizing experience I've ever encountered. Nick, how you doing? Hey, he's probably asleep. I feel like I'm legitimately on the island from Kingdom Hearts. This is just depressing, to be honest. Just feel sad and lonely and hungry. I'm gonna hop in our little shelter and catch some Z's, hopefully. Our shelter is crumbling beneath our very eyes. Storm is brewing in the distance. A cloud is coming our direction. This entire shelter is about to fall apart. Holding and hoping right about now. Just trying to sleep, I guess. All right, we just encountered a quick flash flood or whatever you want to call it. Rain just smacked us down really hard. And as you can see, we collected a bunch of water with our tarp right here. We're gonna empty out all the containers we have and just fill this up with water. And the island gods had finally listened to my woes of despair and bequeathed me with their fresh water tears, allowing Nick and I to collect some fresh water and live another day. Yes, hot water, let's go. All right, well done, Nick. Three day water supply right here. Boom, 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 boom. We fully covered. I think we're drinking good tomorrow. We just need to catch some food and start a fire, baby. We escaped unscathed, folks. Let's catch some Z's, Nick. Hard. This totally looked like it was gonna cave in on us. Homie's really just doing it right there. And after withstanding Mother Nature's brutal assault and being devoured by various creatures throughout the night, I woke up feeling like I had been curb stomped by a retired mafioso. Oh yeah, Nick, we survived the first night. How you feeling? You get any rest? Feel like I maybe got two hours of sleep. Next course of action is to get some fish well, maybe we prepare a fire simultaneously. The problem is rain has soaked everything on this island. All of the brush outside right now is gonna be completely wet. The main concern I have with eating any of this fish raw that we catch is just getting like some sort of parasite and dying, you know? Yeah. We're gonna catch some breakfast, baby. Let's go. Before Nick and I go fishing, we're each gonna get one spin at the wheel. All right, Nick, give it a spin, boss. Fishing gear 2.0, baby. Yes! What did we unlock? We got a fishing spear, some goggles, and some fins. I believe in the me that believes in you that believes in me. Let's do yes. this. And while we were sleeping, the high tide had engulfed half of the island's landmass, leaving Nick and I a small patch of sand to struggle to survive on. We have this life straw right here. This is supposed to filter out 99.99% of any bacteria that could be present in this water. So I'm just gonna stick it in here and just start chugging. Ready? Give it three, four little suction sucks. There we go. Super fresh tasting water. Has a nice little vanilla bean aftertaste with the silicone grip on my mouth. Nick, you wanna give it a swig? It's good, yeah? I taste that vanilla bean you're talking the about. The vanilla bean, bro. How do you like it? It's not bad. Um, I just hope it's safe, should be. But now we just need to catch a fish and get a fire rolling and we are kings out here on this island, baby. And we began to hunt our newly sunken island for crabs that we could use as bait, leveraging Nick's ultimate crab hunting technique. We got three more crabs left. We need to catch at least one more fish, but we're gonna starve tonight, I think. This is turning into some masochistic voyage into the unknown. Things are getting a little shady, to be honest. Morale was reaching an all-time low, yet Nick and I received moral support from an unexpected source. I just wanna say, no matter how many days you guys have left, just keep pushing and grinding. We all know your hard work's gonna pay off at the end. It's gonna be a banger video. It's gonna be amazing. I'm here rooting for you guys. I want you guys to make it. Just wanna say I'm really proud of you guys, and if you guys make it, that's just gonna be insane hey tyler uh keep it up you don't need motivation for me man you got this you are the motivation i believe in you oh man it's hot i would hate to be stuck on an island 
You're lucky it landed on this one. I'm your best option out of all the choices. All you need is your brain. Use it. You can get to the end. You don't need anything else. All right, here's the scoop. Deep breath in. You got this, bucko. Whatever you do, do not give up. There are a lot of foods to be eaten, and that should be your motivation. Keep going. You got it. I said you got it. And while Nick and I were newly motivated to survive, I just couldn't catch a fish for the life of me. Quite literally. So I decided to try my hand at spearfishing with the new gear we got from Nick's wheel spin earlier. And of course, spearfishing was an entirely new realm. It had a seemingly impossible learning curve coupled with a rapid current in the water that I feared would sweep us off to the middle of the ocean if we weren't careful. So after an hour or two of hunting underwater, we caught nothing. It's getting tough out here, man. I'm just kind of scavenging for food. Getting pretty lonely. Nick's kind of brain dead and demoralized. I had unrealistic expectations. I don't know. As our desperation for food increased, our insanity grew in direct proportion to our hunger. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Big Hermit Lefty on the left. Hey! We're going to a new rock to fish. Perhaps it'll bring us prosperity and blessings galore. I even dropped my freaking GoPro on a sea urchin, man. Things were not going our way. You're cutting open a hermit crab to use as bait. How desperate have we become? And how are you doing, boss? It's upsetting that I wasn't able to catch anything considering earlier today I caught a fish my first go around. Yep. Instantaneously. Two days now that we won't have dinner. I'm trying to open this shell, use it as bait. And to stave my overwhelming hunger pangs, I decided to eat a crab we found on the shore and began climbing palm trees for non-existent coconuts. All hope was lost. Last night, I was literally questioning like why I even exist, like some deep existential qualms. I brought toilet paper as my comfort item. There's literally nothing for us to poop. We haven't eaten any food for us to be able to poop anything. What are we gonna do with toilet paper, Nick? We can't even poop, dude. Probably in top 10 worst two days of all time. This is probably one of the worst experiences of my life. Way back when my girlfriend broke up with me I had no appetite no food in my system that was okay this is worse because I have absolutely no food and I want to eat you know like I just want to eat something that's all I care about I could have been playing Xbox you know improving my KD buying sports cards who knows what, what are you doing over there Tyler trying to drown yourself Crab love, baby. What was I even trying to brew? What are we even doing out here, man? I give up, dude. Let's give our emergency guy a call. That's me officially tapping out. This is stupid. I'm done. After failing to create a fire day one, Tyler and Nick had set themselves up for severe malnutrition in the future by being unable to cook any of the food that they caught and relying on rain as their only source of drinking water. Severe decrease in morale had reduced Tyler and Nick's psychological states to points of extreme despair. First their bodies, and then their minds had utterly failed failed this challenge after only spending two days on the island. Man, that sucked. If you could subscribe and watch the next video, that would be epic.